In our last video, we talked about dyslipidemia and how it develops as a condition. Check out the link in the description box below for the full video. Now let's talk about the available treatment options. An important non-pharmacological intervention in dyslipidemia is a diet aimed at reducing blood lipid levels and also weight loss if needed. These dietary changes should always be a part of treatment, and the involvement of a dietitian is recommended in the initial evaluation and also in follow-up as well. Based on the Framingham risk scores, there are different thresholds that indicate whether treatment should be initiated. Individuals with a score of 20% are considered to have a high cardiovascular risk, a score of 10 to 19% indicates an intermediate risk, and patients with a score less than 10% are at low risk. Statin therapy and non-pharmacological interventions are indicated in those with high cardiovascular risk. In those at intermediate risk or low risk, the use of statin therapy depends on individual patient factors such as age, cholesterol levels, and risk factors. Statins are considered the first-line agents, but other drugs can be substituted if the lipid targets are not achieved with statin therapy or if they are not tolerated. Statins work by competitively inhibiting the enzyme used in the biosynthesis of cholesterol, and they include agents such as atorvastatin, lovastatin, and simvastatin. These agents work to lower LDL levels and are also associated with a decrease in cardiovascular mortality and total deaths. However, they have a small effect on HDL cholesterol. Resins, on the other hand, are bile acid sequestrants that work by preventing the intestinal reuptake of bile acids, thus increasing their fecal loss. Resins include cholesterol, cholestipol, and cholestelum, and they all decrease LDL cholesterol while increasing HDL levels slightly. Also, fibrates such as phenofibrate and bezafibrate are sometimes given with statin to help lower cholesterol. Moreover, PCSK9 inhibitors, such as avolacumab, are monoclonal antibodies that target an important protein in the degradation of LDL called PCSK9. These agents reduce LDL, increase HDL, and decrease triglycerides. Lastly, a drug called azetamibe is sometimes prescribed to manage dyslipidemia. It inhibits the intestinal absorption of cholesterol and can be used alone or with statins. That's a brief summary of the management of dyslipidemia. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. See you next time.